Hey everyone, Greg Staley here from Diverge Media. Recently, Rebel News followed up on a story of ours about Lamont Daigle of the Line Canada, specifically David Menzies. And now, in recent days, Ezra Levant has been tweeting about how he thinks Lamont Daigle is an infiltrator, a kook, and an arc. We're going to follow up on this video on a most recent article talking about that, but also discussing further findings about Lamont Daigle. Let us just say that we agree with the assessment. I believe Lamont is somebody who is being put into the position of the Civil Liberties Group to hurt it at the most opportune time, potentially. We are going to go through exactly why we believe that through our most recent article and our findings. And if at the end of it, you too aren't concerned, I will be surprised. All right, let's get into the article. But before I do, let me just say this is an uncomfortable subject, but truth falls where it falls. It is not the job of media to go along with any bias we may have, but rather it is our job just to inform the public of what we know. All right, if you go to DivergeMedia.ca, you can find our article here. Watch Ezra Levant of Rebel News on Lamont Eagle. I believe he is a narc. Now, he was following up originally. These tweets come from a story about ours that Menzies followed up on and interviewed Lamont about, where we drew connections to the Mankind Project he was involved in, some of the violent things he said, and their open letter of endorsement on the Mankind Project of Black Lives Matter. He's been an active member of the Mankind Project for over 12 years now. So we're going to skip past their stuff. If you're going to go watch the Rebel News interview, I recommend going to the 10-minute mark and watching from there. Now, in that interview, he mentions that he's an MC, or he emceed the International Men's Day, in 2019. Well, here uh, is the International Men's Day in 2019, where a very high-end United Nations representative was a special guest speaker. Imagine that. I'm in Chowdhury, the Secretary of the Global Compact, Compact Network with the United Nations for Canada, IMD Canada. Now, here's Daigle on the right, Lamont Daigle on the right here, and here's the UN Secretariat, and they're all pictured in with the people who helped make it possible. So let's learn about I'm in Chowdhury. He's the head of the Secretariat for the Global Compact, we know that. Before his work at the United Nations uh, for the Global Compact in Canada, Iman worked at EGen Consultants Limited, an international management consulting firm based in Bangladesh. As a business owner, expert to pursue and manage development projects funded by the multilateral and bilateral agencies, including the World Bank, the Asian Development Bank, the Japan International Cooperation Agency, and the United Nations Development Program. This was their special guest speaker. So I say it's a little bit odd that Mr. Daigle's been rubbing shoulders with him. So this is another co-founder of that event. Happy birthday, Premier uh, Mr. Doe Ford. Now, I think he meant to say Doug Ford. Uh, now, before you think that he's mocking Ford, here's a picture on his Facebook profile saying he voted O'Toole. But it gets a lot more strange. Diane Ojar, the founder of the International Men's Day, put out a tweet saying, Thank you, Donna Child, Rebecca Ramshaw, Shane Su Paul, Asifa Big, and Lamont Daigle, Sandra Mitchell, Joan, Joan John and her team, Destiny, and Mala Singh. The one that caught us most off guard was this one here, Mala Singh. Now, when you go to her Facebook profile, it gets a little bit strange. On her LinkedIn, we checked in on her LinkedIn profile and it said that she has 25 years public service award from the Prime Minister of Canada, Provincial Government of Canada, Ministry of Attorney General, Law Research Chief, Judges Office, Event Management, Political Campaigns. Now listen to that and hold that in your memory as we go down this. Television Producer. Now she also worked as a host for City TV, Global Television, and Rogers Casting Director for Hollywood and Bollywood Films Music Videos. She was Media Relations and Corporate Communications and says Strong Human Resources Professional. Uh, she seems to be too close to her very good friend Doug Ford and as we will show here she wishes him a happy birthday. Uh, the main takeaway here is not only is it a few pictures but I think she might have been helping Mr. Ford the campaign hence the political part and these are all different locations. That was included on on her page too I'm not sure. So I included it. But obviously it seems to be very close and says she worked in political campaigns. Now she was a host of City TV, Global Television, and worked in media relations and corporate communications. That's Diane Ojar, the founder of it, tagged her in it and said thank you. What an amazing show. Thank you to all our sponsors. We did it. 
and was thanking those people personally for the event. Now, last but not least, here's someone who was also tagged there, Donna Child, and here she is with none other than John Tory. Now, it could all be coincidence that he emceed an event uh, for the International Men's Day where the United Nations Global Compact Leader for Canada spoke as a special guest and where a lot of the people that were helping to organize it or at least seem to be a big part of it have connections, it appears to be, to Tory and Ford. But let me give you one more that ties the Mankind Project and go back and reread our old article. It ties the Mankind Project directly to the United Nations. Get ready. All right, directly on the Mankind Project website, he for she, United Nations Women's Campaign, recognizes the Mankind Project. The Mankind Project is honored to be mentioned as a supporter of anti-violence and gender equality work being done by he for she in their Orange the World campaign during November 2017. Hard work helps men build healthy skills and acquire tools for nurturing safe families and communities. What is he for she? He for she is the United Nations Women's Solidarity Movement for Gender Equality, mobilizing people of every gender identity and expression as advocates for gender equality and acknowledging the ways that we all benefit from this equality. He for she invites people around the world to stand tall together as equal partners to craft a shared vision of a gender equal. Now keep in mind this Mankind Project, as we showed in our last article, directly endorsed Black Lives Matter and spoke of themselves in the, all the terms that you would expect them to speak on while endorsing it. Now, since it's launched on 20 September 2014 at the United Nations by UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon and UN Woman Global Goodwill Ambassador Emma Watson, millions of men from around the world, including heads of state, CEOs, and global luminaries from all walks of life have committed to gender equality. So, backed again on the Mankind Project website, under he for she recognizes the Mankind Project. Check it out yourself. Now, talking about these things are uncomfortable for anyone because we all want the civil liberties movement to work out. We are all fighting for a better Canada. We are all fighting to gain our rights back. They've been stripped away from us. But that means we need to be doubly careful and stand on guard for Canada against the people that would infiltrate such a movement. Now, when I was speaking to a military friend of mine, I brought forth this information with them and he basically told me, listen, it is common practice to stack the field on both sides so that you win no matter what. Just something to keep in mind. This is Greg Staley from Diverge Media bringing you the stories that matter and telling you truth falls where it falls. Thank you for tuning in.